Hello, sunshine. Do we have a haul today? Oh, my goodness. Timu sent two boxes on my front porch. I'm trying to sort it all through. I've got new gadgets. I've got stuff to help holiday cooking easier. I've got great cooking and gift ideas for Christmas. <gasps> Y'all just got to come back and join me. Hello, sunshine, and how are you today? I am absolutely wonderful now that I'm here with you. The weather is great. 84 degrees today. Can you believe that? Tuesday frost warning. My goodness, this East Coast weather. I, I can't figure it out. It's like October's going out in a heat wave. November's coming in freezing cold. I know some of you would ask about that coat I hauled, but it still is not in stock. I've been watching it, and as soon as it does come back in stock, I'll let you know. Well, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to take time and stop by. And if you're a current subscriber, oh my gracious, what joy it brings that you spend time with me. I am almost at that thousand mark. I cannot believe it. It's a possibility of hitting 1,000 subscribers in less than two months. My channel has grown. God gave me this gift. I stepped out on faith. And oh my gracious, I am so blessed. So blessed. Speaking of blessed, this week, my goodness, we had two Bible studies. We had a video on the dollhouse. Oh my goodness, if you haven't checked out the progress of the dollhouse, you need to check that one out. We are just moving forward. Well, y'all didn't come for that today. Y'all came for a Timu haul. Now, as you know, I'm a Timu affiliate. My link is at the bottom. If you're new to Timu, you can get a 50% discount off your first order. Now, you do only have an hour time limit, so you need to keep track of that. But you'll also get a $100 coupon bundle. Now, don't worry if you already subscribed to Timu. You can get still the $100 coupon bundle. Now, if you play Farmland and Fishland for free gifts, my link is in the bottom. So, come join me. Play with me. The games are fun. You do need a lot of patience because they take a long time. Making orders does make it go a little bit faster. But the games can be won without placing orders. So, try it. Takes a little bit of your free time up. Maybe 10 minutes in the morning. And then you go for your different meal break treats. But it's something to keep you occupied. And it doesn't cost you anything. And you can win some great prizes. So, it's Timu. Now, don't forget those credit adjustments either. They've moved them now trying to get tricky. Now, when you click your order, instead of them appearing... Where they used to, you have to scroll down to where your items are listed and look for it to appear under there. Yeah, they're getting tricky. Now, is that because they don't want us to get our credit adjustments? Hmm, something to think about, but keep haunting them. If you can't find them, send me a comment, write me an email. My communication links are in there, so I'll get you straight. We're going to get our money back because on this channel, we are... Pennywise, we are frugal frannies. <laughs> All right, well, let's start this haul. Now, I've got some interesting things today, some new things I haven't tried, and some great gift ideas, and some great things to help with that holiday cooking that's coming up. So, the first thing we want to start with is my little Timu cloud. I got paint on it during my dollhouse opening, so I had to clean it up, and I still got a little paint on it, but it's going to work good to open those Timu packages. So, the first one I op want to open, this is called a sand fiber scouring pad. Now, it's made from wood fibers. Now, 
This side is extremely soft, extremely soft. But this side is a little more coarse. And see the difference in the pan here? And I'm assuming this is what's made from the wood fibers. It said it won't scratch Teflon and it won't scratch glass. So I'm going to give it a try out. It was 84 cent. So I'm going to give it a try if it'll help the nature and use some of the wood that they're just, oh my goodness, they're just scalping. I went to, when I went to visit my grandchildren a couple weeks ago, driving down the road, they just scalped the forest, scalped them, just cut down so many trees. So if we can use some of that wood and not waste it, let's try it. So got our little scouring pad for 84 cents. So I will let you know how it works. All right. The next thing we have is a repeat buy. Now this is a repeat buy because I love them. I absolutely love them. These are one of the best things I've ever done dishes with, cleaned up my kitchen with. And you can order these in ones or fives, and you can pick your colors. I picked what else? Green. Everybody knows I have a green kitchen, and I love green. Well, these are dishwashing towels. Now, you've got the little loop. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Now, these little five towels were $2.12. But again, this is not the multi-pack. If you get the individual or the pack that comes in multicolors, you can get them a lot cheaper. But I wanted to make sure I picked five green. But these things are so, they have no stretch. They are not the microfiber. No, they are not the microfiber. No stretch. Nice little cotton border across the top. And they're just so soft. But they do dishes so well. They hold the soap in good. It's just, they're so good. So please, try them out. I think you can get one just to try them out for like 84 cents. So just, just try one. You don't have to get the five pack in the beginning. But just see what you like. See if you think you're going to like them. I just thought it was so cute. Well, I'm not used to having a dish sponge in my sink. So... I saw this little sponge holder and thought that would be neat. I said, well, I've got to get that. I've got to get that. I've got to have somewhere to put my sponge. Now, it comes with this dicky. What it is, it's stainless steel. I mean, it's a good heavy piece. And they protect the stainless steel here with the sticker so it doesn't get scratched. This is solid stainless steel. Now, this little holder was $1.47 because it's solid. And the idea is to stick it here on the back and then stick it to the side of your sink. And you see, your little sponge just fits right in there. See how it fits. So, I picked that up. And again, that was $1.47. Don't want to lose my sticky. Don't want to lose my sticky. So, I'm hoping that works out. I will let you know if it stays stuck in the water. And so I have a question about that. But... All their stickies say 3M. They know it's got to be waterproof because they're making it for the sink. And I don't fill my sink up all the way past the point that I'm going to put this. So we'll see what happens. All right. Now the next thing is this little gadget here. Now when we start cooking for holidays and we start preparing, we need our knife sharp. Because we're going to be cutting through carrots and potatoes and squash and pumpkins. This little thing here is a knife sharpener. Now this little knife sharpener was only 79 cents. But it's a little knife sharpener. You put your knife blade in here, which I am not going to do. Put it in here and just slide it across. And it's got little, if we can see them. Nope. Can't see. But little things to sharpen your knife. So I picked it up. Said I'll run my paring knives and things through it. So I will let you know how that does. Now. Again. Talking about getting vegetables ready for cooking. Look at this vegetable brush. Now I have them. But I don't have them like this. Look at that. So. Right through there got nice bristles on it. Can you see the bristles? Wash them sweet taters before we cut them. Wash them taters. Taters. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that's the Carolina girl coming out and wash some taters. So this little vegetable brush was only 48 cent, which I think is cheaper than I paid for the solid square one. And it's got the little finger spot on it. Can you believe that? The links to everything I show you will be at the bottom. So easy, just click and it goes right to the item. So I want a little vegetable brush. Now, this is a new item. A new item. And let me tell you, it couldn't come too soon. How many of you have those 40-ounce drink cups? All the hands are going up. I see them. I see them. All the hands are going up. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I have six. Between me and my husband, I have six. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just weather. Going cold hot, cold hot. Well, this is a new item, and this was made for those 40-ounce cups. All right. Look at this. Now you say, okay, it's a cleaner. Check this out. Look. This thing extends. This thing's going to go all the way down. Nice stiff brush. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom of that cup. All the way down. Now look. you got a stiff brush here to get in the grooves of the cup. And look at this. Do you see that? That's going to put that cup rim in between there. Move it around. You see that little bridge? I mean, these are rubber. These are going to clean it. Put that cup in there. Rub that thing around. Now, look down here. You also have a brush here that comes out. I mean, this is the bomb ditty. I'm telling you. You've got a 40-ounce stainless cup. This is what you need to get. Now, these are brand new. They're $3.98, and they are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Because I always had a hard time getting in the bottom of that 40 ounce cup. Even with my little wrist and my little hands. It was hard to get down to the bottom. Now I've used bottle brushes. But this one is just so much nicer. I'm telling you. So much nicer. Now you've got your little thing here. Press. And it goes back in. you've got your brushes. Swirl around to different brushes. So this little thing like I said was $3.98, but if you've got a 40-ounce stainless cup or a 20-ounce stainless cup, you need this. You need this. Wonderful. Wonderful item. Wonderful item. Now, I have shown you before on hauls, vegetable peelers, and I use them for cucumbers, especially English cucumbers and things like that, and carrots, but we're coming in the holiday season. I got to get down to business. I got sweet taters to do. I got potatoes to do for mashed potatoes. I need a weapon to hit those taters. So, I said, I can't use that little plastic handle thing. It's just not going to work. So, I had to go out for all bear. And I saw this one. And I like the fact that it's stainless steel. And I like the fact that, look at that handle. Look at that smooth handle. Look at that. Look at those blades. Now you tell me, I'm not going to be able to attack them taters. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And it'll also do carrots. Look at that julienne on this side. See? You cut the carrots on just this side. You're going to get the julienne. You cut the slices on this side. But that top, boy... This little thing, and it was a dollar eighty-eight. But that handle got a little hook, hang it up with. But this handle, I'm telling you, it is so comfortable. It's a lot bigger than most of the handles. I mean, you can grip hold of this, boy. Give me them taters, I tear them up. So this little vegetable peeler for a dollar eighty-eight for the holiday season, I highly recommend. That's gonna get business done. Now. Let me show you this. I found this. Hadn't seen this before. <clears throat> now, everybody knows that's seen my channel. I have a dog named Trixie. And I have two cats, Domino and Cookie. Well, they eat canned food. Of course they eat canned food. Well, let me tell you. With these nails, popping the tabs 
on that canned food sometimes can be very difficult. And also, they each have their own little spoon that we use to spoon out the canned food out and put it in their bowl. Well, sometimes you leave some in the little grooves at the bottom of the can. Look at this. Do you see the spatula? Not only is this spatula curved to help you get to the grooves in the bottom of that little can. Look at that. It's soft. It's flexible. It's grooved. You ready for this? Look at that. That end is made especially to get under and pop those pop tops. Look at that. Pop that pop top. I don't have to use my nails anymore. Just pop that pop top. 77 cents. So if you've got to open any cans for animals, or if you use potted meat, canned soups, the canned vegetables that come with pop tops, anything with pop tops. Of course, if you have animals, I'd get one for just the animals and then one for food you eat. I, I would not recommend mixing the two spatulas. Please don't do that. But get you one of these. Not only does that let it get in the corners of the can, the bottom, so you're not wasting any food, but that helps your pop top. And if you've got nails like mine, or if even if you've got just brittle soft nails and you don't want to break them doing the pop top, or you cheat like me sometimes and use a spoon, don't have to worry about bending your spoons. 77 cents. So I think this is going to be one of my new best friends. I'm very excited about that. Very excited about that. Now, getting time that time of the year, we're cooking again. And we know how prices are. My goodness, prices are through the roof. Nobody can afford to waste anything. So when I'm in there making my potato salad and stuff and making my mashed potatoes, I want to get the last of that sour cream out that big old container that I can get. I got me a jar spatula. Very soft. But this spatula is going to help me get that sides and bottom of that deep container. I'm not going to waste no sour cream on my mashed potatoes. I'm going to get every last drop. You know how expensive that stuff is. So it's a jar spatula. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. 77 cents also. They've got all their spatulas on sale. I mean, if you need new spatulas, and this is a great time with holiday cooking coming up, just to go and redo some. Get some new ones. I've seen so many under a dollar. It's a great deal. So I got my jar spatula. Now, got another one. And this is one I hadn't seen before. But I like it. I like it. Cooking in a pan. Making that gravy. And you got to put the gravy in the gravy boat. Gravy doesn't always just come out sweet and savvy. Look at that. These are made for pans. Pan scraper, dollar sixty-eight cent. Look at the edge. See that curved edge? That silicone, very soft. But see this curve here? That gets down in the side of the frying pan. So we have a frying pan spatula. I'm not sure what the technical name is it, but I'm gonna use it for my pans, my frying pans, and it's a spatula, so I'm calling it a pan scraper. <laughs> so there you go. I think that's going to help me a lot. And again, we don't want to waste food. And it also makes cleaning up a lot easier when you have the pan cleaner. So, got ourselves a paper pan scraper. Now, this little tool, where has it been all my life? I make cakes. That's the cakes. I decorate cakes. I might do a video on that. I just made a fondant cake for my granddaughter's birthday. It looked like a cow. It was real cute. Well, sometimes when you cook in the metal pipe cake pans, you know how the sides will stick a little bit. And I usually just take a butter knife and run around the edges. Well, sometimes that butter knife can scratch my metal cake pans. And I've got good cake pans, so I don't want to scratch them up. Look at this new little tool. Got a hook to hang it up. This is especially made for cake pans. Yeah. Just run this around the edge. Look at that tip. Run this around the edge. Loosen up the cake if it's sticking to the sides of the cake pan before you turn it out. 
and this little paint, this little cake unmolding, cake unmolding spatula <laughs> is 89 cents. And it did come in lots of colors. So I thought that was a real neat, neat thing. Now these are the famous banana bags. We've all seen them. They've been on there forever. Well, my husband has low potassium. So he probably eats about six bananas a week. We go to the grocery store on Sunday afternoon. That's just when we go to the grocery store. So I got him one of these banana bags. Now this one, I, there, there's several different styles. So you want to look at them. This particular one, I did pay $2.79 for. But it's thick. It's got a great drawstring to it. And look at the inside. It's fully lined. So, we go to the grocery store. I'm going to put his little bananas in here. Draw the drawstring. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see. Because I know on the counter how long they last. And we know don't ever put bananas in the refrigerator or they'll be brown and ready for banana bread the next day. So we leave them on the counter. But I want to see if this really makes a difference. I'm curious. I've always seen people haul them, but I've never had anybody come back and make a comment. If you've used them, let me know. Let me know how they do for you. I am really, really curious. So, we're going to try the banana bag. Now, what I saw that I hadn't seen before is they have another bag. Now, we eat salads. We probably eat salads four times a week. We love salads. Absolutely adore salads. Look what they got. Again, this was $2.79. It's the same as the banana bag. Nice drawstring. Nice and thick. Whoops. The foil inside. Got your fancy little lettuce in front. So, we normally keep our lettuce wrapped in plastic wrap. And on the top shelf of our refrigerator, we've got a side door, double side door. And we found that that is the spot in the refrigerator that keeps the lettuce the freshest longer. We tried it in the drawer. We tried it in Ziploc bags. We tried it in this. We tried it in lettuce keepers. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Nothing works. But this seems to work the longest. But still, we're wasting lettuce. So, I got my little lettuce bag. We're going to try it out. Now, I'm still going to leave it on the top shelf. So, we'll see how good this bag does. So, I will report to you. Probably take a week. We go to the grocery store this afternoon. So, we'll go and I'll get my bananas and I'll get my lettuce. And I will let y'all know next week how they did. And again, this was $2.79. Just like the banana bag. Now, this. This little thing. This ain't much of nothing. It's just a little, Henny, I can get it open, little teeny chopping block, chopping pad, but a lot of times when you're cooking for those holiday meals, you need something small just to, right up front, chop something small and you don't feel like getting a big chopping block out or anything else, 54 cents. Just a little cutting board. I mean, it's thick. It's sturdy. You're not going to cut through it. And you're not going to cut the table. And I guess I got this little one, like I said, more for convenience than anything else. Because you're going to be cutting. And you're going to find you need something real quick. And just something real small that you can use. So, I picked that up. Now, we're talking about them taters. How many of y'all out there make homemade mashed potatoes? I know you do. I know you do. Got some good cooks out there. Got me a masher. I like the handle. Look at that handle. I like that handle. Good and sturdy. And once you boil your potatoes, you don't need to have a metal, old, thick, and cumbersome big masher. You don't need that because your potatoes are soft. Good handle. Good holes. Yeah. So, I got me a little masher, dollar ninety-eight. 
So this is what's going to use on my mashed potatoes. On oh, my sweet potatoes. Just a little teeny something just to have in front of me. Have to use just for convenience without pulling out my big fancy one that's a member of my set sitting on the counter. Yeah, just, just easier. Just easier. Now, how many of y'all baste? Now you got that ham. I know you put that sweet glaze on that ham when that ham's cooking. I know you do. I know you do out there. How many people baste that turkey? Mm-hmm. I'm making myself hungry. You know, they say you should never go to the grocery store hungry. I've got to go to the grocery store this afternoon. I'm going to be hungry for all this good food. Mercy me, mercy me. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to fill up two baskets. Well, this I liked. It's a nice little baster. Now, oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get the top off. Okay, there we go. Pop. That's a good size. That's probably about five ounces. Five ounces of liquid. A little baster was dollar sixty-eight. You got your top. Now this top won't come down. So this is gonna protect your hand if you got anything dripping. Nice silicone soft brush. So you're gonna go pick up whatever you got and you're gonna go a baster. Dollar sixty-eight. And you know with a lot of the stuff you're basting. While it's cooking and you're waiting in between times to baste it, you can just stick this in the refrigerator. Airtight. Won't pick up any odd flavors or anything else. That's why I got this to do my basting. Just a little, little cooking hemp. Little cooking hemp. Now, how many of y'all make that homemade rolls? How many people make homemade bread out there? Well, I got to do in my inventory, and I didn't have any, none, no dough scrapers. I don't know where they went. I have no idea. So I picked up these two. Dollar eighty-seven. That's just a typical dough scraper. It's a little flexible. It's a sharp edge. Now you can use this for cutting your dough when you're sectioning off of your rolls or scraping it off the counter when you're first mixing it and the dough's a little sticky and sticking to the flour. But it's little dough scrapers. And it did come two in a pack. The and that I chose from didn't give you the option of one or two. Or I just would have got one. So you might want to look around and see if you see just one. But I got these dough scrapers. So, now this. This I could not turn down. For the price, a dollar eighty-four. You know when you're serving in pies up and serving those cakes up, you got to have a fancy little server. Look at that. Is that monochrome look? Isn't that going to be pretty sitting on the table? I mean, that almost gives you the colors of fall right there. And it does have this sharp edge here for cutting the pie. Nice big blade. But look at that monochrome. Isn't that great? I'm telling you. It's almost like the colors of fall. Now, they have this in silver, and they have this in gold. I just chose the monochrome, like I said, for the colors. But I'm saying, look at that. That's almost fall colors right there. Love this little thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love that little thing. Now, we're going to move around. We finished with the kitchen gadgets. We finished with the cooking gadgets and the cleaning gadgets. Now, we're going to move some interesting things. Now, I'm going to show you an intelligent nightlight. You say, what is an intelligent nightlight? Well, that's what I said when I first saw it. What's an intelligent nightlight? Now, this is one I like. Of course, can't show you the picture because where's the sticker? The sticker's on everything right in front of it. Comes with the USB to charge it. Now, this is the magnet. Comes with the sticky. So, you can stick it on the wall. Or, you can put it, a nail, and hang it with a nail. Now, this little nightlight... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how it works. It works off motion. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. It came on. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Oh, it has to be in a dark environment. But what'll happen? Stick this in your little hallway, 
and when it takes motion, the light will come on. And it's a pretty good bright light. And this little um, light was $2.48. So I got this to go in the hallway with my grandchildren. They didn't have a night light. They have one in the bathroom, but they didn't have one in the hallway. And they had those cats. And you know how cats get under your feet. So, it's just a little, I call it an intelligent. Look at that. Fell right through the box. Don't want to lose that. They call it an intelligent nightlight. See if that'll stay. There you go. Hook the metal. Intelligent nightlight. Now, everybody is worried about everybody looking at them. Spying on them. Especially after they did that new update for security. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that. This I am going to put on my laptop. Now, I did get one that was a little more expensive. Ready for this? 97 cents. <laughs> yep, a big old 97 cents. All right. This little contraption here. You put on your laptop or your iPad or your phone, and it covers your camera. They say when that little green light is on, your camera's on. And somebody can see you. Whether you've got your camera on or not, somebody can see you. I like this style because, look, I can slide it over and my camera's uncovered. I don't have to remove the sticky piece. It's just soft rubber. But you have the option by sliding it. So, for $0.97, cent, I said, I'm going to try it. So, my grandson swears. When that little green light's on, Grandma, somebody's watching you. And I started looking at my phone. And you know that green light's on a lot. So I don't know what's going on. But we go get it. We go nip it in the butt before we get started. Alright, this next little ornament. For those of you who've been watching my channel know that I had a dog named Radar that passed away last December. And we'd had him for 15 years. Well, I ran across this. Let me string it through, because of course they never string it through. You know that. You gotta be careful. And you know, some of those times when you get those things to string through, Lord have mercy, I feel like I need a magnifying glass and tweezers. They're so small. I'm just gonna tie a loose little knot in this. This is a dog angel ornament. Can you see that? It's a little dog and a heart. The dog has angel wings, <clears throat> and there's little paw prints all around so this year this will be on my tree now it doesn't come personalized and it doesn't come engraved but in a previous haul i had bought an engraving pen from timu so i'm gonna take this back it's pretty flat and smooth and i'm gonna engrave his name and his birthday on the back of that 99 cents but for those of you that have lost a loved one, there's a little puppy dog with angel wings. So I thought that was real cute. And yes, I love my babies. Now this next, y'all know I've got my dupe bracelet. Well, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that an iris is my favorite flower. Purple iris. Well, I found this little bead try to get it where you can see it it's purple flower purple flower with a little I guess cubic zirconia in the middle it's real cute so I got this for my bracelet it was a dollar 98 so we're gonna add this to my charm bracelet I thought that was real cute now check this out we're talking about holiday, gift-giving, birthdays, Christmas. Look at this little sucker. You ready? You're not ready. I know you're not ready for this. This is just gorgeous. And I don't like the way they boxed it. So let me get my little jeweler's cloth. All right. Now, this is how it looks when it's open. You're saying, what? I know. I'd say that, too. I'd say that, too. But let's open it up. Let's give it a chance. 
All right, we got one bag of, well, let's open this. Let's open this to start with. And this all comes together in a set. And it's $4.49. And this is in rose gold. But it comes in silver and regular gold. Oh, mercy, mercy me. I got this thing wrapped up tighter than Fort Knox. Well, I'm going to leave the plastic on the band. Let's see if I can put this here. Can see it. Look at that rose gold. See that watch face? Nice band. It's got the fastener. Just the fold over and lock little fastener. Nice big numbers. Now this is for my granddaughter. Ten to one. She probably doesn't even know how to tell time on this. They just don't teach them that in school anymore. Everything's digital, digital, digital. Well, guess what? She's going to learn how to tell time on this. Isn't that beautiful? I just think it's so gorgeous in that rose gold. All right. So we have the beautiful watch. Now, let's see what comes with the beautiful watch. You are not prepared for this. I'm telling you. I saw this. Scarfed it up in a heartbeat. All right. Let me see if I can get all this. Try to. Try to. All right. Ooh, the little plastic stuff sticking to me. Does plastic ever stick to y'all in cold weather? Just seems like it doesn't want to release. That static cling stuff. Put this up here. Get a little bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's in rose gold. So you get a little rose gold butterfly bracelet. Put that in the box. And then we get a little rose gold butterfly ring. This ring is adjustable, so it'll fit any size. There it is. All right. Now you get two stud earrings. Stud meaning this. This is what they are. And they're just the studs. Okay. Let me put those back in the box. They give you earring backs to them. And then the little necklace. The little necklace that matches. I mean, look at all the pieces you get. Earrings. Bracelet. Ring. Watch. Necklace. Five-piece set. For four forty nine. dollars They had a lot of different styles. A lot of different styles. I'm buying this for a 12-year-old, just in case you're curious of the age. And there's the little necklace. Look at it. Chain sparkles. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, the chain is adjustable for longer lengths. Look at that. Five pieces for $4.49. Tell me where you can beat that. Is that not a great Christmas gift? I think it's absolutely wonderful. I'm going to put it back in this little package. I did take the individual things out, but I want to put it back in here. Yeah, $4.49. Wonderful deal. Wonderful deal. Now, got any Harry Potter fans out there? Got any grandkids, nieces, nephews, kids? I didn't open one. They like Harry Potter? I know you do. I know there's Harry Potter fans out there. Check this out. The Golden Snitch. A dollar and nine cent. Yeah. The Golden Snitch. And it's like a fidget toy. Look at that. I think that's how they have it listed. As a fidget toy. Dollar and nine cent. And it's heavy. It's got a good weight to it. It's nice. It's got a good weight to it. So that will go as a stocking stuffer to my Harry Potter fan. Now this next one, I just got because I thought it was cute. I've got a granddaughter who loves strawberries. Absolutely adores strawberries. So I was looking through Gmo and I saw these pens. And they look like strawberries. I said, okay, that's cute. Any little strawberries on them? They're pink, and they got little strawberries and stuff. I'm um, holding them upside down. And I said, okay, well, that's cute. They were $1.42, 
And I said, okay, well, I'll get them. Well, as I was reading, they're supposed to smell like strawberries. So, let's check it out. Let's see if they do. Let's take one out with strawberries on it. Now, I don't know if the pen smells or the ink smells. I don't know how it works. Oh, okay. Looks like it writes in red ink. The red tip. Let's see. Well, okay. No, it writes in black. And it takes a second to get the pen started. That smells like ink. I smell the strawberry. I smell the strawberry. I smell the strawberry. So basically, if you buy these pens, you're buying a pack of strawberry looking pens. There is no smell. So that's didn't work out the way it was supposed to, apparently. So for a dollar forty-two cent, you can get six cute little strawberry pens. Which is still a good deal for pens, but doesn't have that strawberry smell it was supposed to. So what can you say? You got more wins than you do non-wins. Now this little next gadget I got from my grandson. He loves to sing. But sometimes he has problem with his pitch in songs. So this little thing is supposed to help with that. How it helps, I do not know. Don't ask me. It's called a tone wheel. Now this is what it looks like. It's got all your music notes. B sharp, C flat, da 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 da. It's called Greek to me. So apparently, if you're doing a song, you put this over whatever notes you're trying to hit. And it does something to help you. So it's got a thing where you can download the instructions. So I'm going to download and print the instructions before I give it to him. But it's supposed to help, it's called a tone wheel, and it's supposed to help you singing to hit your pitch. So, gotta do some more research on that. That's one I will definitely follow up with you because that's one of those curiosity items. I know it. I'm like, I wanna see how it works, what he does. So, that will be very, very interesting. Now, y'all gonna think I'm strange. Well, y'all already know I'm strange, so no big deal. Bought a pack of socks. Everybody knows how much I love me some Timu socks. Well, these socks are doggy socks. One, look at the little ears. Two, let's turn around we can see them. How about that? <laughs> Two. I dropped one. Oh no. Three. They're just all different ways. Four. And five. Now, these five pairs of doggy socks were four forty nine. Now, I want you to look. They've got that beautiful reinforced heel that I love. And look at that toe. I'm telling you, these socks you can wash and wash and wash it up. And they got good waistband. Look at those ears. A pair of socks, look at Got the puppy paws, four little puppy paws. He's out. Well, let me tell you. This sock is the reason I bought this pack of five socks. Because this little socks remind me of my Trixie girl. She's got the spot there, and she's white. She's brindle in the back, but her face looks like that. So, these pair of socks are mine. <laughs> and... These four pair of socks will go to the grandchildren. <laughs> I know. I told my husband what I was doing, and he said, you're crazy. But that's okay. I like being crazy. Because what's normal? Do we really know what's normal? Do we really? I don't think I've ever seen normal. No, nope, never seen normal. I guess normal would be an average, maybe, but... Nah, don't want to be normal. Now, these next socks, oh my gosh. I've been trying to get this one pair forever. Now, y'all have seen me haul these sushi socks. Love them. Absolutely love them. I've seen me haul those. But these are the pair that keep being out of stock I'm trying to get. Now, this come in a two-pack, K 
came in a two pack. Came, come, oh my goodness gracious. $3.29. Now these are big socks. These are men's socks. Look at the sushi. My grandson's gonna have a fit. Look at that. So I'm real happy about these. These are the pair I've been trying to get in that pretty blue. I like turquoise. In case you can't tell, look, my nails blend right in. Can't even tell I got nails on. <laughs> so, sushi socks. $3.29. Now, as I said in the beginning, it's going to be 84 degrees here. Tuesday night, they got a frost warning. So I'm thinking, okay. Okay, let's get some haul stuff together for cold weather. So, what's the first thing that I have? Look at these. Soft, soft. Soft, soft, okay, fit. Nice, nice earmuffs. 98 cent. And let me tell you, they come in all different colors. All different colors. 98 cent. I think I can come down. I think that's how they go. Oh, wow. Wow. They're almost soundproof to a point. Ooh, they are soft and they are fuzzy. So, 98 cent, all different colors, being that soft. Kids in the school bus, pulling them out. Now, this next one, you might think I've lost my mind. But I haven't. I'm telling you, frost warning. My husband has the great big one, but just a little ice scraper for the side windows if we need it. Hard plastic here. And this is metal reinforced. This is not going to break. Good handle. Ergonomically correct. You've got your bends. Nice little ice scraper. 70 cent. Scarf up these things. I'm telling you, scarf up these little things. 70 cent. The link will be below in the description. Just a little ice scraper. Now. You've seen my channel and seen my hauls before and heard me talk. You know that I have a husband that rides a motorcycle. Well, this stubborn husband of mine pours a motorcycle, rides a motorcycle when it's cold. He says, what is it, 38, 38 or 40 is his cutoff. He won't ride the motorcycle if it's colder than that. Well, he has a mask for his motorcycle, but it's a couple years old. And it's getting thin. And you know when material gets thin, it doesn't protect you as well. Well, guess what I found? Timu masks sell motorcycle. Well, they're not really motorcycle masks. They're bike masks. You ride a bike, a scooter, a motorcycle, or you run in the morning. Anytime you need full face protection. $6.47. But look how nice this is made. Look at this. This is plastic here. Full panels to breathe through. And the inside, you've got the mesh. Can you see the mesh? I'm trying to. I can't pull it up. It's very tight. But it's got the mesh with the plastic. It's very, very breathable. Great for runners, bikers. Soft, soft stitching around the opening for the eyes. And I just can't tell you how soft and thick this is. I mean, look how it's just sliding through my fingers. Oh my God. And look, it goes all the way down to the neck. Look at that. That's like some type of velour. Can you see how fuzzy that is? It's like some type of velour. It's absolutely wonderful. He is going to love this. I'm giving this to him this afternoon. Look how big it is. I mean, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm very excited about this. He's going to love it. Yeah, see, it even says airflow on it. Airflow. This is nice. This is nicer. This is nicer than the one that he has now, even when that one was new. So if you ride bikes or run, this is the perfect thing for those cold mornings. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, now this next item is so cool. I saw it 
read about it, read some of the um, reviews on it, and said, got to get it. A hundred movies. Can you read a hundred movies? Everything appears backwards when I try to read it. It's a hundred movies. Now, let's open it and look at this bad boy. Well, you don't open it that way. Well, you don't open it that way. Oh, it's taped here. I was like, how do you open it? Okay. Right. So we open it like this. It's a movie poster. Rubber bands. Rubber bands and long nails don't fit. <laughs> Rubber bands and long nails don't fit. Alright. Well, if something fell out. Little disc, I guess this is to scrape something. I'm not sure. All right, let's open this thing up. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to take this tissue paper off so we can see what we're looking at. I don't know. Manipulate around my puppy. All right, we've got. Oh, okay. So what this is? It's like a big scratch off game. At the top, it says a hundred movies. I'm gonna try to hold this and show you. Each one of these squares is a movie, and underneath is a the name of a movie. Now I'm gonna read the movies from down here. They've got Jaws. Jerry Maguire, Jurassic Park, My Fair Lady, Out of Africa, Lawrence of Arabia, Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, Rain Man, Pulp Fiction, Psycho, Schindler's List, Sea Biscuit, Singing in the Rain. So you've got all kinds of variety of great movies. And then once you watch a movie, or is that little thing? Once you watch, whoops, <laughs> I'm trying now. Once you watch a movie, then you take this and you scratch off the gold. And I guess it'll show a picture from the movie or I'm not sure, but it'll show that you've watched the movie. Is that not cool? Now this is what I call a bucket list. I mean, these have got to be Oscar winning movies. I mean, that is just too friggin' cool. I love it. I love it. So, and that cold weather coming out. We're not going to be able to go outside, watch some good old movies. Wouldn't this make a great Christmas gift for somebody? I mean, that, that to me, that would just make a great Christmas gift for somebody. Watch some old movies. Now, this was $5.66. And y'all know I'm frugal franny, but this was well worth the money. Well worth the money. Trying to shut it up nicely. Like they had it. There we go. I'm going to take this one rubber band and put it around the middle. Then we put the rubber band around the middle. It's all down. There we go. So there we go. 100 movies. I like that. I like that a lot. And you know, I think that's going to be a popular Christmas gift. And like I said, you know, $5.66. Cool. Cool. Now, this next is one of those times when y'all know I buy gifts that I don't like to buy. But they're things people want. So, I, I try to get them what they want. This is a book. This book... If those of you used to watch the movie, the movie, TV series Charmed, this is the book from Charmed. I'm not sure what's in it. I'm not going to open it for y'all, and I apologize for that, but it's just something I don't feel I should open and look at. 
It's nothing X-rated. It's nothing pornographic. It just deals they are The Charmed is about three sisters that are witches. So this has spells in it and about... And I just don't agree with it. So I'm not going to open it. This book was $22.47. This book will make a great gift for my daughter-in-law for Christmas, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Dollhouse stuff. If y'all haven't seen my video from this week, you got to go back and watch it. got to catch up. We got the house all painted now. We're ready for wallpaper. And I've shown you the wallpaper. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay. Now, I had some comments about needing a dog on the front porch. And I looked at the dogs. And I just didn't see any dog that appealed to me. But I looked at the cats. Look at that. Is that not a cute little kitty? Look at that little kitty. He just thwetching. So this is going to be the kitty of the house. And this little kitty was 98 cents. I don't think it's... If it's resin, it's very, very hard. Hard resin. But it doesn't feel the plastic like normal resin. My little face. So cute. So that's the kitty cat of the porch. Now. Okay, I think I'm crazy. That's okay. Y'all know I'm crazy. Had to get to the kitty cat. Now again, remember we talked about everything I get that's in wood. Raw wood. We're going to stain it walnut. Because that's the wood of the dollhouse. Had to get the kitty. A little scratch and post. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's a little kitty. It's it up top. I have his little scratching post. I'm just chilling. I think he'll lay down here. Yeah. There he goes. A little scratching post. And that little scratching post was $3.97. And it's going to look better once we paint it, stain it walnut. Isn't that cute? So the little kitty's got its scratching post. <laughs> now, um, finally got the dresser in for the bedroom. You know, we had gotten the bed and the night table, but we were just waiting on the dresser. Well, it finally came in. Look at this thing. And this matches the night table. Night tables. Now, if you remember, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Now, remember, all these drawers open. I don't want to make a mess in front of me. I'm trying to open them without having them all fall out. Like that. <laughs> So that's our little dresser, and that little dresser was $8.98. We'll put it back in the box since it has drawers, and we don't want the drawers to get misplaced or fall out. So we have our little dresser. Now we have the sink for the kitchen. Now, I'm going to see if these doors open. And again, with nails, it's hard. Oh, it does. Whoops. Okay. So this is our little sink. And there's the top. Now it comes with... You've got to place this. The little spout. It goes right here in this hole. So that's the little sink. For our kitchen, and that little sink was six dollars and twenty cents. Time we get that wallpaper on, that flooring on, we're gonna be all ready. Now, pick up this little chair for the bedroom. Now, you know the bedroom's pink, so don't don't fuss at me yet. Don't fuss. My plans for this. Oh, it's got glue. Somebody went wild with the glue stick. <laughs> There's little glue stick cobwebs all over the place. 
Now, this little chair was jump, 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 $3.97. But I had a great idea. Now, this is soft. Those of you that saw the dollhouse video, if you didn't, you got to go back and watch it because I picked out some material. And I want to reupholster the chair with that pink material. But I'm torn between two materials. I can't decide what to use. I show about five materials, so I'm asking y'all's opinions. So go back, check out the video, and let me know what material I should use for the chair. And I want to paint the chair white. But look at the woodwork. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I think painted white. This is going to be really, really pretty. So picture it painted white. Look at the top. Picture this painted white and with pink here. I think that's going to be really nice. So that is my thoughts. Don't fuss me for buying a brown chair. I could have bought a white one, but it was two dollars more. I said for two dollars, I can paint it. Now, look what we got. We got the stove for the kitchen, but this is not an ordinary stove. This little stove is four dollars and ninety-seven cents. Look at it. Look at that. Got your stove pipe. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to pull the tab, I'm going to click the button, I'm going to click the button, and I'm going to look for an on and off switch, or is it on? Hold on. It's supposed to come on. There it is. See that light in there? It's so bright in here, it's not really showing up. Is the light reflecting? I think it'll show up good in the dollhouse. But there's a light starting to make it glow. So it looks like the logs are on fire. Isn't that cute? So I really like that. Turn it off, save the battery. Yeah, I really like that. So, that's our stove, and that was $4.97. Now... Got something else that's new that I hadn't seen floating around. And I hope my husband loves this. He took the sweeper and it passed it to the mower and was riding around the yard yesterday getting stuff up. This is a bag. But this is not supposed to be an ordinary bag. This is supposed to be a leaf bag. So let's see what happens. Okay, we got something stiff rolled up. I might need to back up for this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. <laughs> okay, we got a good sturdy handle. This is thick fiberglass. You're not putting a hole in the sucker. Reinforced. Reinforced across the top. Okay. Alright, what do we do with it? Well, from what I saw in the picture, it's supposed to keep stiff around. Or... Let's see. Do you put this in here? Hold on. Alright, we take this. Let's get the tape off. And this bag, if it works, was $6.47. There's tons of sellers that have them. So if you don't click on my link, which my link was the cheapest link, which y'all know me, I'm frugal franny. But there's tons of them, and they can go up to $12. So you've got to really be careful about that. I don't want y'all to hit one that's terribly expensive. Okay, we're going to take this. I got a sneaky. <laughs> we're going to stick it through this hole that's in here. I believe. Because I know this part's got to be stiff. So, let's see if that works. Alright, well that's not working. Hold on. Hmm. 
Nope, that's not working. Does it go this way? All right, hold on. Oh, okay. I see the holes on this side. All right, so let's stick this through. I need more room for my bag to expand. Hold on, I'll back up. I'm still sticking it through. This may work after all. I see the dollhouse in the corner. <laughs> all right. Keep sticking it through. All right. This is coming over here. We're going to bend this straight. All right. I'm sticking it through. All right. Is that the hole over here? Okay. Push it through. Keep pushing it through till it bottoms out. Okay, so it is bottomed out. You got a handle. Hold on. Watch your ears. Watch your ears. I'm going to shake it. trash bags and this is bigger than a 40 pound trash bag the ad might say but my goodness um this is probably about a 60 pound trash bag it is huge humongous so where i was doubting i'm no longer doubting i like this look at that holds it stiff holds it up don't have to hold your own bag look at that and then this part reinforced Plays right on the ground. Look how big that thing is. Six dollars and forty-seven cents. Good handle. I, I think this is going to make his job a lot easier because now, when he gets things out of the sweeper that he takes along with the mower, he still puts it in bags. But that is going to make it easier. He can just dump the sweeper in a pile and just rake all the leaves right in there. I like it. I like it. Check it out for yourselves if you got a lot of leaf problems. All right, the next thing we have, and I got a plug for this. I bought a gingerbread man for Christmas. Got a few little things for Christmas, and this was so cute, I had to get it. Now, this is a little gingerbread man. Now, you can buy this with the light or without the light. Of course, I bought it with the light. Look at that. Look at the detail. It's that laser cut wood. See how they put it in the lasers? And then they use the lasers to cut the details. All right. Let me get this off and plug it in. And we're going to see how pretty it lights. Because it was quite a bit of difference to get the lighted one. Like I said, I paid ten seventy nine for this one. All right. Let me get this. And it has in the cord on off switch. All right. I got my cord right over here. Let me plug it in. All right, she plugged in. All right, are we ready? Whoa, Nelly. Is that not gorgeous? Is that not gorgeous? Oh my goodness. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So that's it with the light on. And that's it with the light off. Even with the light off, it's pretty. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Absolutely love it. Mm. You might want to check these out pretty quick. They might be going fast once people see it. They got them. So, and like I said, Gingerbread Man was $10.79. I've only seen that with one seller. So, check it out. Now, 
stocking stuffers, the little ones, not little ones, but that six, ten age group, I'd say. This, Dollar I7. It's a little out of whack. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me get this back where it goes. Okay, look. It comes in different colors. I just chose green. You've got a ruler. You've got pencils. You've got a notepad. You've got a sharpener. You've got an eraser. And a cute little holiday gift pack. Dollar ninety seven. And you know when the grandkids come visiting, this will keep them busy. So you and mom and dad can talk. Isn't that cute? Dollar ninety seven. And like I said, it does come in different colors. Now, what am I gonna show you? What do I show you every time I talk about the Christmas? Is the Christmas bags. I have to show them to you because these are such a good deal. You could go nowhere, not even the paper bags for a dollar twenty-five beat this deal. We're talking eight bags made of polyurethane, can hold weight, reusable, strong handles. Three ninety nine, four dollars for eight bags, fifty cent a bag. You got Merry Christmas. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I love the blues with the snow. I love them. And I've told you. Good. Strong. Reinforced handles. And look how big this bag is. Let's get this thing cold. This is what I'm giving the gifts this year in. All I need to do is buy stock in the tissue paper company. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Buy stock in the tissue paper company. Look at that. Look how big that bag is. Look how tall that bag is. I mean, come on now. That's a big bag. 50 cent a piece. How can you beat that? I'm telling you, you need to get them now. Closer to Christmas, the price is going up. It's going up. Now, got a few little things to decorate with. So I got me a little elf girl. And a little elf boy. These were $5.79 a piece. Here's the little boy. Now, it does look bigger in the ad, and we know Team was famous for that. So just be aware of that. Let me get this straight. But this is what they are. Look how cute that is. Sparkling. Got long legs. And they cute. So that's a little boy. Five seventy nine. And I'll show you the little girl. The little girl. See your hair. The little pigtails. So, they might get them to cooperate. Aren't they cute? So, I just picked up those for decorations. So, I thought that was real cute. So, that's the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I hope you saw some things that you liked. And saw some things that you get ideas from. Maybe some things that will help you cook in the kitchen. Maybe some gift ideas for holidays. Maybe some decoration ideas. But, I want you to all have a blessed day. And I want you to remember, God keep you while we're apart. And be with you until we meet again.